Today's video, we're gonna be covering how to stop trips tight end in Madden 24. We're gonna be showing you a great little coverage defense out of the dollar three two in the Chiefs defensive playbook. If you guys want to get my entire uh, Chiefs defensive ebook, we cover four three even six one dollar three two dime normal nickel three three, all kinds of different formations, quarter normals as well. If you guys want to get access to that entire defensive ebook, make sure that you become a Patreon member today. It's only ten dollars to sign up, and the link's going to be in the description below. It'll get you access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks. Now for today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a specific coverage out of the Cover 3 Cloud Show 2. In our coaching adjustments, we want to go ahead and turn our auto flip defensive play call off. For trips tight end, we're going to make sure that our auto alignment is set to man align. If you if they're audibly into trips tight end, all you need to do is hit uh, the actual man align button at the line of scrimmage, which is triangle or Y, and then R1. But what you're going to see is when we come out in a man align look, it's going to put both of our slot corners on the left-hand side so that we have a matchup advantage, or at least we're able to kind of match up well to what our opponent is going to do. Now, the cool part is it's actually a really simple defense. And for my money, I think the best way to play defense against strip side in is to utilize this cloud flat on the right side. I'm going to explain why. So what a lot of people have done historically to defend trips would be the defense that looks basically something like what you see on your screen. Now, this is a really, really good defensive coverage, and it can stop some trip sets. However, there's one main vulnerability that we want to talk about that any good trip side in player is going to exploit, and we're going to be talking um, about this right side of the screen. So the right side of the screen is kind of open. If they have a tight end apprentice or a hot route master quarterback, a lot of times you're going to see route combos like this. And essentially what's going to happen is this corner route on the right is going to be able to be thrown again and again and again. This is also true out of the most popular play in trip side in as we're in the Bills trips, which is kind of the meta this year. A lot of people are running the Bills trips formation for the play wide receiver short post. But basically, let's say, for example, that we did a defense like so. So as you can see here, we have uh, we're rolling over our coverage to the left side. What you're going to see in this verticals play is this crosser will actually pull this outside third defender deep. And you can actually throw this on the sideline. We actually got a really good animation there from our corner. But just understand that that is a, a read that a lot of high-level trip sided players will be able to do, especially with set feet lead. So because of those kind of key route combos, another one being, let me show you one more, and then we'll talk about how to actually slow this formation down. Another one of the key route combinations that people will utilize on a trip side in is essentially something that looks like this. Again, the tight end is going to be able to consistently clear out this third, and then they can throw this crosser underneath. Obviously, we've got a kind of a unique match there, but... Um, let's, let's get into our cover through cloud. So the purpose of this cloud flat on the right side of the screen is to defend tight end corner routes to the right. We're looking at, and really primarily the short corner routes that most people like to run out of the play verticals. So if we take a look at this cloud flat and we will go ahead and put the running back on a streak, what you're going to see is that this cloud flat is going to be able to kind of drift back and he is going to do a really good job of defending the tight end corner route. Now, what some really advanced trip side in players will do is they will go to um, an alternate corner route and they will actually go to a deeper corner route. This is the play curl flat, and we're going to essentially do the same exact route combination. But what you're going to see here is now the tight end is on a deeper corner route to the right side of the screen. The cool part about this cover three cloud behavior is if there is a KO on this safety you have a really good shot at him playing. And one of my favorite adjustments for a trip side in is to shade my coverage outside. I think that helps the zones play a little bit more to the sideline. So what you're going to see here in this idea, you see how that safety on the right is going to be able to play that. And he's actually able to just flat out swap the ball away. So we're able to defend that right sideline. Uh, one other really important route combo to go over is the actual crossing route out of verticals, which is super popular. You'll see they'll try to throw it in here, and as you can see, the safety is able to play that. So all that to say, all of this res all of this resources that we're trying to do to slow down the tight end corner to the right side, the crosser to the right side, you might be asking, how do you stop the left side of this formation? Left side is, of course, very versatile. There's a lot of things that they can do on the left side. So my favorite thing to uh, do to try to combat the left side of the screen here is if you think about the route combinations that most people are going to be running from trip side in, 
the main route combination to attack the left side of the screen is really going to be one of two route combos. The first one is going to be something that basically looks like this, and often they will motion this guy in, and they will basically try to hit this corner route on the left side. That right there, that throw, is actually a really hard throw to make. And, and to be honest with you, most people aren't going to be able to just live with that throw, especially if you have deep out zone knockout on that corner. The Really the more open throw against a coverage like what we're showing you here is really this tight end post. And what you're going to see here is because of how much time it takes him to get across the formation, that deep out zone KO is rarely able to consistently play that route. So what I like to do in terms of my trip side end defense here is we're going to pinch our defensive line. That's going to help us stop any kind of run. We're going to always blitz our user, especially if we're only sending three. You can, if you want to, blitz this linebacker. So if you have a setup where maybe you want to send four, we actually show you this in the ebook, how to get a blitz in sending four people. Um, you can certainly do that. And then from there, all we're going to do is we're just going to take this uh, slot corner that is on the left side of the screen here, and we are going to put him in a vertical hook. Now, the purpose of this vertical hook is it is going to help kind of play the tight end post, and we'll show this. I'm going to go ahead and spy this lineback both linebackers here. But basically, we're going to carry the tight end post, and then we're going to pass it off to this vertical hook. Again, shade your coverage outside. And I'll talk about one last adjustment in a second for helping defend the left side of the screen. So let's talk about slant post here. And what you'll see is we get absolutely a crazy screamer. But another thing that's important to point out in the replay is how this vertical hook will play the tight end post. I've actually gotten a lot of interceptions on this. When they run the slant post combination, you're going to see that because we shaded this outside, he's actually going to carry. See how he carries that a little bit longer? And so instead of being able to throw the ball in this window, they've got to wait and throw it over here, which is, of course, where my deep out zone KO is. Now, one thing that is also super, super important uh, to understand about trips tied in is this little kind of snap throw play that they have out of the play verticals. And oftentimes, it's primarily going to be essentially trying to almost kind of break your mat, break your coverage. And so you'll see here that they'll try to throw this like kind of snap throw streak against this outside third defender. And in fact, if they run play action on you, a lot of times, uh, a lot of times if they run play action on you in game, this is something that practice mode doesn't show a great deal, but a lot of times this play action will kind of dumb out that vertical or that third, and they'll be able to throw that over the top. So because we know we have to ex uh, kind of uh, respect that threat, another thing that I like to do here is we're going to manually back off that outside corner on the left-hand side. Now, this is going to allow us to be able to do other adjustments later on in a game, such as maybe something like this right here that you're going to see on your screen. I don't know why the safety didn't go in the deep half. You, this sets us up to be able to drop that cloud at, at key intervals with other coverages that we might want to run against trips. So my main coverage is going to be something like this, and typically we're going to send four, so we'll send the linebacker here. Um, or if you want to send the slot corner, uh, then you, you won't get the vert hook, but you will be able to. You could send the slot corner here, and then you could mid-read this linebacker, and I'll show you what this does to the tight end post. The cool part about this mid-read is if they try to run the slant post combo, the mid-read will absolutely lurk that tight end post. As you see right there, see how he's kind of lurking? And then, of course, you have all of your KOs in behind this to be able to help out. So that's kind of one of my main coverage defenses against trips. I think it's just super important. This right side of the screen, I really think the outside third cloud flat is really important to defending trips. Another real simple uh, defense is to just man up the circle receiver. The reason this is super effective is because this is going to take away their RPO bubble um, and all that kind of junk that they can do. I actually think, too, uh, because we're not base aligned, that third will play a little bit better on streaks. But it is something to just kind of be mindful of. If they're hitting you over the top of the streak, you might need to manually back that guy up. But all in all, guys, this is pretty much my favorite way to defend trip side in. And then kind of situationally, we'll mix in a send five. So a send five would look something like this. And when we send five, typically what I like to do is use a cross man adjustment, which is going to look something like this right here, if you look on your screen. And then to the right side, normally this is where I will 
actually go ahead and either deep half this corner or just flat out man him up on the tight end. We'll get a little bit more aggressive because we're trying to get that pressure in at the quarterback. So that's my favorite way to defend trip side in, at least my base covered shell that I really, really like. If you want to learn a whole tutorial in depth in our ebook where we actually teach you step by step how to slow down offenses like trip side in, bunch, tight, anything that you're going to probably face online. Join the Patreon today. That's where you'll get access to all of my full offensive and defensive ebooks. I want to thank you for watching this video and to sign up for the Patreon to get all those ebooks. Just head down to the description and click the link down below.